Welcome back to the Tennessee Valley this morning, 6.50 your time. You're watching the Monday Morning Edition. Dan Howell here with Sandra Whaley, or Zandra Whaley, make sure I pronounce that correctly. And uh, Zandra, of course, uh, works in Dr. Hoop's office as his office manager, I believe. He I works do. for you, in other he words. He works for me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he has for 16 years. 16 so, years. No. He works for you. But we're here, as promised, with a very special guest that uh, Zandra knows quite well. I'll let you introduce our guest. I do. He is my lovely fiancé of yeah. two months, wow. uh, Jim Welch. Uh, this is the famous guy that proposed live on the air on WCLE. <laughs> he did it, good. You set the bar did. pretty high for the rest of us. I'm I made some guys mad. <laughs> did you show him your rings? Yeah, <laughs> he did. He did very well. He very did well. good. He did good. A very, I was very shocked, I have to admit. But his official title is the Addictions Counselor uh -huh. at the Salvation Army. However, Jim does, he serves in many roles, wears many hats, as, I guess. As I most say. people do at nonprofits. Exactly. Yeah. He's uh, actually right now managing the Disaster Warehouse. Uh -huh. And if you've not been out there to see it, uh, the one thing that I love about him is he likes things in their place. Uh -huh. Now, that doesn't mean I do it all the time, but <laughs> he does like things in their place. I like if, for you to stay in your place. No, <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, this, this is true. Ooh. Okay, no. Uh, but he, he manages that, and he um, he runs several different things at the um at the Salvation Army, and now he's gearing up for the Jingle Bell job. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it's good to have you back on the show, Jim. You've been here before talking about many things that's going on at the Salvation Army. And Salvation Army, as of late, especially, uh, I think, since the tornadoes hit the community, has just really stepped up to this community, and they're doing a fantastic job Thank of you. ministry in this community. And uh, I think the latest, uh, we'll get to your event in just a moment, but I want to just give kudos to the Salvation Army for this new coffee shop on Inman Street. I go there on a regular basis, and they're open from 7 a.m. until 11, 11 at night, I think. And they've got anything and everything that you would find at some of the famous chain coffee shops. Yep. Exactly. We will remain unnamed. Uh, the product is better. It's not acidic. It's not bitter, and it's about a dollar cheaper per cup. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed when I went in. Anything that you'd find at those other places, you'll find right there. And it's a great setting, places to relax. They've got the Wi-Fi. Yep, they've got everything for kids to play. Yeah, have smoothies. Yeah. I drink these chocolate. They're almost like a chocolate milkshake. Yeah, well, I drink there a lot. I'm not. I don't drink much coffee. Yeah. But I have tried the coffee. It is great. The other day I had a hot cocoa with espresso mixed in it. Oh, I'll have to try it that. Was good. You drink coffee. <clears throat> I do. I drink coffee. I at least have to have one cup in the morning. Yeah, so. I usually do. Well, that's the Inman Street Coffee Shop. That's what it's called. Of course, it's uh, sponsored and owned by the Salvation Army here locally. But uh, that's where uh, Joel Rogers introduced me to the French press. Uh -huh. I went in the first time. He said, do you want a regular drip or do you want a French press? And I I don't know, what's <laughs> that? <laughs> and so he explained it to me, and he said, you'll really like it. Boy, he was right. In fact, I now have my own French press coffee uh, brewer. Do you really? At my house, and oh, I made wow. a cup this morning, and it's just so smooth, and uh, I love it. It's just, it's great. And, and an inexpensive way to make a good cup of coffee. So, uh, Joe I, knows his coffee. I, sure. I, he does. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend that you go by Inman Street Coffee Shop this morning. They open in about seven minutes from now. Go by and let Joel or one of the guys make you a cup of coffee. They've also got fresh baked pastries, baked this morning mm -hmm. uh, there. And uh, I went by one morning, got a cup of coffee and a fresh baked pumpkin uh, muffin. And it was three bucks. Now, you don't get that down the street at the other chain store. That's right. It's going to be more that. like five to six bucks. And the, the greatest thing about the coffee shop is all the proceeds from it go to help people in the community. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that is uh, fantastic. You get a great product, and you also have the, the uh, knowledge of knowing that you're helping this community with all the proceeds going to the charity. So that's fantastic. But anyway, we promoted the coffee shop. Now let's talk about something else, Jim. <laughs> well, You're here to talk about uh, I'm here to talk about the Jingle up. Bell Jog on December 3rd at Fletcher Park. This is the application. You can pick up these applications at the coffee shop. Okay. I have some in there or the front desk at the Salvation Army. But the, co the coffee shop's open so from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. So 
Anybody can stop by at any time and get them. Or we have a website at clevelandjinglebelljog.com. It's being worked on right now, updated from last year. This is our applications from last year. Uh -huh. I've changed the date on here now, but we're also looking for sponsors. If any local businesses are listening to this, we'd love to have you as a sponsor for the Jingle Bell Jog. It's a 5K run and a one-mile walk. Okay. Or a one-mile walk. It's only $20 for individuals for the run or the walk, uh -huh. and it's only $25 for a whole family. We're very family oriented, of course, oh, at yeah. the Salvation Army, so I'm, I kept it. The price is really low. $25 for a whole family to run or walk mm -hmm. or a mixture. Some in the family want to run, some want to walk. And, it's, uh, and the proceeds for this go to benefit the needy, single mothers, oh, elderly okay. over the winter to help pay their utility bills. Oh, yeah. There's a tremendous need. I also work in social services. I, I'm an addictions counselor and I work in social services. Uh -huh. And uh, we probably have between 50 and 100 people a month calling us needing help with their utilities even now oh. over the summer and all. Oh. And uh, there's a tremendous need in the community and there aren't very many agencies that help with utilities. Right. Mm -hmm. So the money from this goes to Help pay, help people pay their utility bills over the harsh winter months. Oh, and it, yeah, it looks like the way we're starting off, it's going to be cold this winter mm -hmm. uh, as it was last winter. This is a T-shirt from last yeah. year. If you participate, you also get a T-shirt. This one's kind of wrinkled because it's been in a box. Mm -hmm. you if you're a sponsor, all, all your sponsors are on wow. the back of the T-shirt. You've got. Well, I mean, you get a ten-dollar T-shirt with a with the entry fee. Also, we're going to have door prizes. Uh, we have trophies, beautiful, nice trophies that. Uh -huh have the jingle bells on the bells like we use to, uh, the, the bell ringers right. use. They've got them on the trophies. There's nice trophies. You're gonna have a lot of door prizes, giveaways. It's gonna be fun. So you just pick up the uh, entry form there at uh, Inman Street this Coffee Shop? Inman Street Coffee Shop, uh, Plastic Surgery Clinic will have some. We'll have them at the different sponsors around town also. Or go to clevelandjinglebelljog.com. Okay. ClevelandJingleBellJog.com. Okay. Now, does that link also to the Salvation Army website? Do you know? No, I don't believe it does. Believe this it. is separate. Okay. We had to set it up separately. Also, you can call me at, at 380-8178. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a hard time remembering my cell phone number. <laughs> it's actually a Google voice number that rings my cell phone because okay. I've still got a Georgia number. Okay. But it's 380-8178, <clears throat> or you can call the Salvation Army at 308 I forgot that number now. <laughs> well, look it up in the, on the <laughs> white pages on the on Google. Three zero eight three four six seven. Three four six seven. You'll yeah. find it. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and come back and talk about some other things at the Salvation Army and what they do for this community. We're talking to Jim Welch, who is an addiction counselor and uh, just uh, do it yourself. All kinds of things at the Salvation Army, including the Jingle Bell Run. Before we go, uh, where is the job going to be held? At Fletcher Park, oh, out off of Harrison Pike. Okay. We'll have bananas, drinks, coffee, bagels, Panera. We get bagels from Panera. Mm -hmm. We'll have all kind of stuff there for oh, to eat, that's drink. Fantastic. We'll so, eat, drink, and be merry. So that, <laughs> coupled with your uh, T-shirt, is worth the twenty-dollar entry fee. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Well, we'll talk more about that in just a moment. It's six fifty-eight and fifty-one degrees. We'll be back in just a moment as you watch Tennessee Valley this morning. I'm Dr. James Markham, host of the television program Heart of Health, seen right here on WTNB Television. Thursday at 7 o'clock, Friday at 8 a.m., or Sunday at 3.30 p.m. I'm Wes Robbins with Landmark Insurance Brokerage. When it comes to employee benefits, We've got you covered. Call me today for the best service and best solutions to your group health and employee benefits needs. At Landmark Insurance Brokerage, we've got you covered. How would you like to look and feel better? If so, then visit the Ford Center for Anti-Aging, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Dr. Ford has been serving Cleveland and the surrounding area since 1984. He is a licensed physician with the Board of Anti-Aging Medicine, offering affordable Botox injections. 
Botox is a medication that is used to treat dynamic wrinkles such as crow's feet, forehead lines, and frown lines. In addition to Botox therapy, rejuvenate and smooth wrinkled skin. The micro laser peel treats skin conditions associated with aging and active lifestyles. If you're looking for safe and affordable anti-aging treatment, call the Ford Center for Anti-Aging at 423-614-0535, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland, is your number one Dodge Chrysler and Jeep dealer in this area. Stop by and see the brand new 2011 Chrysler 200. The 200 is essentially a new nameplate with a significant facelift to the outgoing 2010 Chrysler Sebring. A beautiful vehicle at an unbeatable price. And while you're there, check out the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee and the newly designed Dodge Durango. Redesigned, revamped, and reinvigorated. Yes, the Dodge Dodge Durango is back, bigger and better than ever. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep offers a complete parts and service department with qualified service technicians to fix and repair your vehicle. So for your next brand new or pre-owned vehicle, make it Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland. Thanks for tuning in this morning to the Tennessee Valley this morning on WTNB. 7.01 your time and 51 degrees. We're talking to Jim Welch from Salvation Army about a big event coming up, Jingle Bell Jog, and that's on November, December, December 3rd. December 3rd. So you've got some time to get registered. You can pick up your entry fee form down at uh, the Emma Street Coffee House, which is the new coffee house uh, sponsored by the Salvation Army, or at... Uh, Dr. Hoop's office there Correct. on, is it Parker? and We're at the corner of Church and uh, 5th Street, Church 6th Street. Okay. And there's that. also a website, Jingle Bell Jog. Cleveland, Jingle Bell Jog .com. Cleveland, Jingle Bell Jog .com. So check that out. Uh, last year you had really good entry uh, uh, groups, I, I guess. You had dozens and dozens of people that took part. Hoping to increase that this year because it all goes to a good cause. For those who just tuned in, tell us again about where the money goes. All the money from the Jingle Bell Jog helps for the, those that are needy in the community, mm -hmm. especially single mothers and elderly, over the harsh winter months to help pay their utility bills. Mm -hmm. And you was telling There's us a tremendous need in the community. Yeah, you were telling us you're getting a lot of calls about. We've uh, always that. gotten a lot of calls. We do help as much as we can with utility mm -hmm. bills. Uh, we probably have. I would say between 50, anywhere from 50 to 100 calls per month. Oh, my. People asking for help with yeah. utility bills. That's that's, that's just a, that's great. all year over the summer, so imagine in the winter how it gets. Yeah. So if you want to do something good for your community, you can support the Jingle Bell Jog and uh, help some folks out here in the community, and you can rest assured that the proceeds from this jog do go to help the local people in right. this community. You don't have to run, you can do a one mile walk. We, it's called the Jingle Bell Jog 5K Run, mm -hmm. one mile walk for warmth. Mm -hmm. So you can either run the 5Ks, which is only 3.1 miles, or you can walk mm -hmm. one mile. Yeah, well I believe I could even do that. So. <laughs> I can <didn't> too. <laughs> I've actually gotten started running a little bit. I'm easing into it. It's not something you want to just jump into all of a sudden, but I'm easing into it. and. Uh, it's amazing how it really makes you feel better oh, to do yeah. that. So uh, remember to put that on your calendar. But this is a busy time. We were talking during the break. This is a busy time for Salvation Army. I guess the holidays uh, is is when you raise a good share of the funds for your annual budget. Right. Tremendous time for us at the Salvation Army. Uh, we still we're still we even have, I manage the Cleveland Bradley County Distribution Center up on Barney's Lane. We're still accepting donations of anything that closed there. We're still helping tornado victims every day. Yeah, a lot of people haven't moved back into their houses yet. Right. Some are just moving in. For those of you that are, that are listening or watching, that uh, we're tornado victims, and uh, you've been coming to the warehouse. I've got some furniture in there. I've got mattresses. Mermaid Mattress provides us with all the trade-in mattresses. When someone buys a new mattress and trades one in, uh -huh. we get truckloads at a time of their of mattresses that they bring to us. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, we've got furniture there. A lot of people are needing furniture. We've got tons of clothing. 
we're phasing out of the food and cleaning supplies now, but we're going to keep carrying the uh, uh, clothing, food, household items, those uh -huh. type of things. Uh -huh. And we're going to do Angel Tree out of that same location, okay. which is where we're going to distribute the Angel Tree. So I'm in the process of making boxes right now. Yeah. We helped over 500 children last year through the Angel Tree program. Oh my. And if you're not familiar with it, the tree is at Kmart at the mall. Uh -huh. And you can go by there, I believe, in a couple of weeks, around the first week of November is when they'll put the tree up, mm -hmm. if not sooner. And you can adopt a child and buy Christmas gifts for that child, and then we distribute the gifts to them. Oh. If you're watching this and you know someone that needs to be in, in the Angel Tree program mm -hmm. and needs gifts for their children, uh, we're having Angel Tree sign up right now. You can call the Salvation Army at 308-3467. Okay. To sign up for the Angel Tree program for the children or elderly. Mm -hmm. We also do Christmas gifts for elderly. Yeah. Uh, and of course, one of the uh, most visible things that we see from the Salvation Army every year, it'll start soon, and that's the bell ringers. We're also taking applications now for bell ringers. If you'd like to be a bell ringer, if you want to volunteer, if you have a group that wants to volunteer and take a whole day uh -huh. for your business, we're doing things like that now. Yeah. Xander's also on the board of the Salvation Army. Right. They're, they've come up with a lot of different ideas, trying to get the community more involved yeah. in bell ringing. Because like you said, that is one of our... This time of year is when we raise funds to support the ministry throughout the year uh -huh. to help those in need mm -hmm. throughout the whole year. Yeah. Um, well, you always know the holidays are here when you hear that bell ringing as you go into uh, to the stores or into the mall. And, and they're always stationed, I think, right there at Kmart. You said yeah, that's where the have, there, We have two or three bell ringers at the mall. I think there's two there. Mm -hmm. One at one of the entrance, entrances and one at the Kmart mm -hmm. entrance. We also have cookies with Santa at the mall where there'll be a movie and cookies for kids. That'll be announced oh. also. And we also do gift wrapping at the mall. We're starting on uh, what they call Black Friday. Right. When everybody starts Christmas shopping the day right. after Thanksgiving, we'll start our gift wrapping center. I had I I say I had to do that. I managed the gift wrapping <laughs> center last year at the mall. <laughs> I wrapped plenty of gifts. Oh my goodness. And the proceeds from that goes to the Salvation Army, too. Yeah, uh, and they do that. I, the, well, they used to wrap the gifts there in the, uh, they may have moved it into an empty uh, room, but uh, uh, they used to do it there in the customer service area, mm -hmm. but they moved it. So uh, keep that in mind, too. That always goes to a good cause. Right. And one other note on the uh, bell ringing. This year we're going to try something different, and we're trying to get different civic groups and organizations, clubs, your church, your youth group, uh, to take a day that they would volunteer and man the um, the bell ringer mm -hmm. state bell ringing stations, and mm -hmm. we're going to have a contest to mm -hmm. see, you know, which groups can raise the most money on their particular day. Oh. So, if anybody's interested in doing that, contact the Salvation Army and let us know, and we'll go ahead and fill that date in. Oh, that's great! We've had a lot of interest in that. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, that helps with the cost of doing mm -hmm. this, so. Well, one thing about the Bradley County community is they do, uh, they are a giving people. And, uh, and they you know, love contests. They do, they do. <laughs> and uh, it sounds like Salvation Army really has it going on this year. A lot of stuff, beginning with the Jingle Bell Jog, of course. When will we begin to see uh, the bell ringers uh, at the malls and stores? I believe they start, some start, the first week of November. Okay. And then I think that's when they so start. So it'll be soon. Okay. And when you see them and you hear the jingle bell, remember it is for a great cause and it's helps support uh, Salvation Army programs here in, in Bradley County. Uh, one of the, uh, uh, to me, one of the most efficiently run charities in the United States is Salvation Army. Most, of the, there's a, of course there has to be a few administrative costs taken out. But if when you look at their breakdown of their finances compared to other charities, yeah. the vast large majority, uh, that's, that's kind of redundant, vast large majority, uh, <laughs> the largest majority of the funds collected do go to helping people who need help. In your local community too. Yes, in local that's community. That's the best part about the Salvation Army is 
the funds actually that are collected here, they stay Stay there. right here in Bradley County. So yeah. uh, I think we need to support these efforts. We've got to take another break, uh, but let's get the information about the Jingle Bell Jog one more time. Yeah. Jingle Bell Jog on December 3rd at Fletcher Park at 10 a.m. Go to clevelandjinglebelljog.com, call me at 380-8178, or call the Salvation Army at 308-3467. Or you can go by the Inman Street Coffee House where our offices are located on Inman Street next to Larry's Car Wash and pick up an application that's mm -hmm. what they look like. And this is what our website looks like. That's December 3rd, the Cleveland Jingle Bell Jog, 5K run or one mile walk. Yeah, he's done this enough. He's know, real. He knows how to do it now. He got all that information in. I'm impressed. Well, yeah. We had, we had like around 80 uh, entries last year, 80 participants. Yeah. We're hoping to have close to 200 people run and walk that this year. That would be great. And Fletcher Park is a great place for yes, that. It is. And just get out and enjoy the outdoors and and uh, help a good cause. And Cleveland Utilities last year did a really neat thing. They, I think they sold baked goods inside uh, Cleveland Utilities and then those who were an employee there, if they chose to walk, then they paid their entry fee, which was oh, really nice. Oh, fantastic, yeah. yeah. So well, it was it was great. Well, thing. special thanks to Tom Wheeler and the, uh, all the staff over at uh, Cleveland Utilities. They are a very involved uh, community partner. They really sure are. are. We are talking to Jim Welch from the Salvation Army and uh, telling you about the Jingle Bell Jog. Uh, check into it. Go by the uh, Inman Street Coffee Shop. They're open right now, in fact. Go by and pick up an entry form and put that on your calendar for December 3rd. It's for a great cause. We have to take a break. Back in just a moment, we're going to talk to Sandy Moore and find out uh, something that's going on with Junior Achievement. You'll be excited to learn about this. Don't go away. <laughs> Kathy Guy with Landmark Insurance Brokerage. Call us today for all your personal insurance needs. With 28 years in the insurance business, I have the solutions and pricing you are looking for. At Landmark Insurance Brokerage, we've got you covered. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland, is your number one Dodge Chrysler and Jeep dealer in this area. Stop by and see the brand new 2011 Chrysler 200. The 200 is essentially a new nameplate with a significant facelift to the outgoing 2010 Chrysler Sebring. A beautiful vehicle at an unbeatable price. And while you're there, check out the all new Jeep Grand Cherokee and the newly designed Dodge Durango. Redesigned, revamped, and reinvigorated. Yes, the Dodge Dodge Durango is back, bigger and better than ever. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep offers a complete parts and service department with qualified service technicians to fix and repair your vehicle. So for your next brand new or pre-owned vehicle, make it Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland. I'm Dr. James Markham, host of the television program Heart of Health, seen right here on WTNB Television. Thursday at 7 o'clock, Friday at 8 a.m. or Sunday at 3.30 p.m. How would you like to look and feel better? If so, then visit the Ford Center for Anti-Aging, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Dr. Ford has been serving Cleveland and the surrounding area since 1984. He is a licensed physician with the Board of Anti-Aging Medicine, offering affordable Botox injections. Botox is a medication that is used to treat dynamic wrinkles such as crow's feet, forehead lines, and frown lines. In addition to Botox therapy, rejuvenate and smooth wrinkled skin. The micro laser peel treats skin conditions associated with aging and active lifestyles. If you're looking for safe and affordable anti-aging treatment, call the Ford Center for Anti-Aging at 423-614-0535, located at 2020 Key Street, Northwest. Wait, I... I Welcome back, and uh, don't be frightened. Uh, it's just uh, Sa it's just Sandy. It, it, you, I know you think it's the Wicked Witch of the West, but that's it right. Is. My husband does too this morning. Believe me. <laughs> Sandy Moore, of course, uh, the uh, area director of uh, Junior Achievement, director, president, uh, 
Whatever uh, title. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But yeah. Uh, she's here and she's in costume today. As you can see, she looks like the Wicked Witch of the West, which off, during the break we were talking about the Wicked uh, Witch. And you're going, I was there Saturday, you're going next weekend to see Wicked in That's Nashville. That's right. That's right. Really, I was going to say I followed you back from the play <laughs> the other night. But no, I am going next weekend. Oh, so. well, I love the costume. Thank you. And, Thank you. And uh, you've got the hat going on. Oh, it's yeah. very similar. To, Couldn't wear it the, the other way. It's supposed to be cobwebs, but they're hanging on your face like a widow's wig yeah, or something. So you, so. Yeah, no. and of course <laughs> you've got the little, uh, w got the little wicked doll. My wicked twin sister here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tried to cast a spell and she sort of messed up and shrunk herself <laughs> instead. So. But we're having a monster ball. Uh, that's why you're dressed up that's in okay. costume today. <laughs> I don't normally go to work this way. Um, yes, we're having our monster ball at the Museum Center on uh -huh. Friday night, the 28th. That'll be at 7.30 p.m. Uh, come in costume, but it's not required. Yeah. Now, is this your costume you're going to wear? Uh, that night? I don't really know. Uh -huh. I'm one of those spur of the moment people. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, this so is fantastic. I have no idea, but. Uh, it uh, is a lot of fun. We are having uh, real heavy hors d'oeuvres that uh, Pam Matthews uh, Catering and Wedding yeah. Services does. She does. She and her husband do a fantastic do. job for us. And we have karaoke and dancing with uh, McKee Promotions uh -huh. that are coming in. Uh, we will have a costume contest. Those that have purchased tables have the option to decorate their tables. We'll have a table decorating contest. Uh -huh. And then we also will have um, just various other things going on that night, yeah. which uh, the last time we had it, we, we really had a great time. Yeah, now this is not the first time you've had a monster No, ball we did one today. in 2008 mm -hmm. and then decided to wait a year, but it ended up being a few more years. Yeah, so but it's we're back trying it again. Yeah. And, uh, now is there, a, this is a ticketed event. Uh, tickets assume. are $45 mm -hmm. a piece. That includes your food and drink. We'll have wine and beer and soft and, drinks. And the entertainment as and well. And the entertainment, everything is included yeah. in the $45. That's and for the food price. that you get, it, it's a great deal. Yeah, Pam does it a really fantastic is. job and yeah. always has. But for what you get, uh, that's not a bad price. No. And a no. fun fun. A great evening. fun night. Yeah. yeah. And the yeah. great setting, Museum Center, uh, there at Five Points. Uh, Tables are available at five hundred dollars each okay. if you would like to be a table sponsor, or you can purchase a half table. Oh, for two fifty. Okay. And uh, that guarantees seating right up the front, reserved seating, and. Uh, and what times it start? Starts at seven thirty. It'll run till eleven. Okay. And uh, hopefully the rain will hold off. Oh yeah, I hope so. Now is this. Uh, is an event where you have to dress up? What no, do people want to come? No, and it's op cost costumes are optional. Okay. Yeah. And we had quite a few the last time that did not come in costume. Mm -hmm. And then we had a lot that did. Oh. And there's something about putting on a costume. Yeah. And it just sort of you lets your spirit go free and, and you can be a different you person. You can become so. someone else. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> one of the things that I like about uh, the block party is, oh my goodness, you oh, see yes. all kinds of ghouls and goblins, and uh, people do really get into that. They do. Mm -hmm. They do. So we're sort of priming You're, people yeah, for the block yeah, party yeah. this them year. Into yeah. The block party. That's yeah, great. That's Coming true. up. But this will all go to benefit the students here in Bradley County mm -hmm. um, for the Junior Achievement Programs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we have this event coming up. We have our Santa breakfast on December 3rd also at the mall, right. which we've done for the past five mm -hmm. or six years now. Mm -hmm. So um, those are two big events that keep us busy yeah, during the fall. I'm sure they do. And of course, really all do. the money, as you said, benefits JA. Uh, talk about JA and some of the things that you do for the kids. Well, the biggest thing that we're doing right now, my voice is sort of going in and out today. I've not had it for a while. So mm -hmm. um, our biggest thing we do is we are really focusing on the high schools with our financial literacy programs, mm -hmm. going in and helping the teachers meet the requirements that the state has put out for financial literacy. Yeah. And it really seems to be very popular with students and the teachers. There's mm -hmm. a lot of um, discussion back and forth with the business people that we put in. Um, into that classroom with the program. The other is a program that we are working with students to help prepare them to go into the workforce, to mm -hmm. understand what employers are really looking for, mm -hmm. talking about ethics, talking about their responsibilities, helping them develop their 
critical thinking skills, team building skills, mm -hmm. things like that. So we have a lot of requests from all of the high schools in our five county area. Yeah. And of course that takes funding. Oh yes. It's um, costly and the uh, money that we raise here locally or that we raise in our five county area is strictly from business, individual, and industry. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. So we're scrambling this year. We're facing yeah. challenges like everybody else is, and one of our biggest challenges is to keep this operation local right. and not to become um, meshed with Chattanooga. Yeah. And, and that's something, that's a struggle we have this year because mm -hmm. the push from headquarters coming down is consolidation. Oh, trying so, to be more economical. Yes. If we can raise yeah. the funds. And we can raise the funds and show our numbers are growing every year. Mm -hmm. And our demand is growing every year. Our funding is not. Mm -hmm. And if we can turn that around and show that um, we can, that this community and, and the other four counties will support the program, then we have a good chance of, of maintaining Maybe. our local yeah. identity. And it would be much better for the five oh, counties if we could definitely. remain local. They will get much better service. Yeah. and Kind of get absorbed by... Um, Chattanooga, we don't want to do that. Well, we've seen that happen with some other organizations here, and we it's have, and not it's been the most positive thing. Right. So, so we want to yeah. keep it, uh, stay separate, keep our own identity. That's right. And uh, it'll help uh, the, the kids in this area. Speaking of the five counties, what are they, Sandy? Uh, they are Bradley and McMinn, mm -hmm. Polk, Meigs, and Monroe. Monroe counties, okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's uh, the uh, Senate District 9 with the exception of Monroe. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Okay. But the, um, you know, the interesting thing is with Polk and Meigs and McMinn and Monroe, they've been so devastated by the economy this yeah. year. And the unemployment opportunities for young people are just diminishing up there. Mm -hmm that they have a very bleak outlook on their future. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things we try to do is go in and show them how they can put their skills and their interests to work for a career for them and to help them understand they need to look outside of their own community mm -hmm. for a job opportunity. Yeah. And we try to give them those skills to do that. Yeah. And so, you work alongside the schools. Uh, correct. Uh, just it's a great correct. partnership. We're fortunate because, particularly with all the constraints on the teachers and the principals this year, we still have that blackboard time. Mm -hmm. We still are able to get in the classroom with our programs and our business volunteers because of the validity of what we're doing and the excellent curriculum that we have. Mm -hmm. Uh, what uh, kind of response are you getting from the from the students themselves? From to the students, they love they love the programs. They love the business people coming in, and sharing their own personal experiences mm -hmm. with them. You know what problems they had when they ran into a credit situation, yeah. or um, what it cost to have a baby in the hospital. You know, mm -hmm. just opening real their eyes up to the real life world, yeah. and then how what they're learning in school can be applied mm -hmm. to the workforce, mm -hmm. to their life once they're out of, out of high school. Yeah, and J.A.'s been doing this for years and years 46 and years. 46 years here wow. in, in this county. In this county, mm -hmm. that, that is incredible. And some of the real life experiences that you give these students is, uh, I've, I've thought, I wish I had that when I was oh, a kid. Mm -hmm. Me too. It would have given me a, really a leg up on, on real life once yeah. I graduated. But t talk about some of those programs. I think you... Well, you one, of the, one of the things we do is our reality check program. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah, that's, that's when we go in and we do a real life simulation with the students and they have a, a budget and a fictitious lifestyle and a, a life situation as far as family, marriage, you know, children, no children, not married, whatever the scenario may be. But they have a certain amount of money based on their income level and their education level where they have to purchase everything their family needs for one month without uh -huh. going bankrupt. Uh -huh. And they go from the insurance booth to the car booth to the real estate booth to whatever and purchase what they need. Um, if they do go bankrupt, we haul them into the center of the room and make them reconfigure their budget. And they become very creative in how they reconfigure their budget. They can't return their home in the same month that they buy one. Um, they can return their Hummers and their Cadillac Escalades, oh. which is the first thing they buy. 
but they do that um, and they don't get the same amount of money back, which really frustrates them because yeah. they don't understand that. Yeah. Um, we had some real crea I'm trying to think, we were down at Teen Learning Center last month doing uh -huh. Reality Check and they came up with some really creative, w I know what it was, one young man was really good with auto mechanics uh -huh. and he was dealing with an um, insurance agent and he couldn't afford the premiums. So he said, well I'll tell you what, I will do oil changes on your car for X number of months if for the insurance. Oh, and I was boring. like, "Wow, this kid boring. is really thinking." Yeah, he's you know. thinking outside the right. box. Right. So we had we had three or four of those uh, different situations. So they came up with creative ways of uh -huh. of bartering their yeah. services for the services they needed, yeah. and it was really neat. reality check. Really is, uh, <laughs> as its name implies, a real yeah. reality check. I mean, Something it, I didn't I have. <laughs> Uh, in school yeah. as, as, a, as a high school student. Because they come back to the teachers the next day in their discussion and they say, is it really like that? Yeah. Does it really cost that much? It really does. And uh, <laughs> it opens, no they don't. Yeah. Well, you know, did we? No. Really, no. I didn't. And uh, I, I wish I'd had something like but that. But yeah. I, I think that's so good. My 20 year old needs that, you know, almost yeah. 21. And <laughs> well, I know some, on her own. I know some 40 year olds <laughs> that need that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's a fantastic program, and uh, we've talked before, I know, mm -hmm. that sometimes, you, you, of course, it's kind of like monopoly money. You give them a certain amount of money, right. run their household, and the first thing they do is go buy a Hummer oh, or an Escalade, yeah. That's and it. the money's gone, and they're like, well, what happened? You right, know? Oh, and then, you know, they'll go buy the biggest house they can, and yeah. there's no money for food and yeah. clothes and diapers and oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Learning but, how to budget yeah. uh, is, is a great life skill to learn, and that's where mm -hmm. J.A. steps up. And, doing a great job for Thank our you. schools. Thank in, you. In this we community. have such a wonderful board of directors mm -hmm. and we have such a committed volunteer base mm -hmm. that we couldn't do it without yeah. them. And you get a lot of business people involved volunteering. Right. Uh, we have over 240 volunteers active volunteers uh -huh. that go into the classroom. I think our main volunteer base is like 600 but mm -hmm. going into the classroom on a regular basis we have about 240 active yeah, volunteers. Well, it's, it's a great program. But the big event coming up soon is the Monster Ball. And Friday you see night. it on the screen, the J.A. Monster Ball Friday night. Uh, Sandy, of course, dressed up in costume as the <laughs> Wicked Witch of the West. And I can, uh, trust me, she's not wicked. She's just dressed up <laughs> like a witch. She's not wicked. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> but there's the graphic. You see it on the screen. Junior Achievement uh, of the Okoye Region's Monster Ball Five County area is coming up Friday, October 28th, and it's at 7.30? 7.30, Museum Center, Five Points. Okay. And tickets will be available at the door. If anybody at the last minute has a change of plans, yeah. we want them to come so we can buy tickets at the door. You can buy them at the Chamber of Commerce, you can buy them at the Red Ribbon, or you can purchase them by credit card by calling the JA office. Okay, and it's... So. Uh, Forty-five dollars a person. Yeah. If you want to sponsor a table, we were going to give lots of promotion on table sponsors. Five hundred dollars a table and two fifty for half a table. Yeah. No. And the funds go to support the JA programs in the five county region. Right. And great programs they are, especially this uh, reality check. I just think that's fantastic. It's I, fun. I, I really yeah. think it's great. And <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping my grandkids are participating in that at some point. I, I don't know. I haven't heard them talk about it, but hopefully before they get out of high school at Walker Valley, they'll, they'll learn about that. Uh, but it's a it's a great event, and you can or cannot dress up. You just right. It's optional. You can dress up. Correct. Uh, in a costume if you uh -huh. want to or if you don't want to, don't worry about it. But it's it's going to be a fun evening. It'll be a very fun evening. And a yeah. great, great yeah. venue. Uh, so put that on your calendar if you're looking for something to do this Friday. Uh, there you go. Monster Ball for Junior Achievement. Going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, Sandy, thanks for coming by. Well, thank and telling you for us having about, me. And thanks, uh, thanks for dressing up. I mean, well, I had to add, you know, something to the show this I morning. Think it's so. Monday yeah, morning. We needed spicing yeah. up. That's right. right. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. We needed spicing up. Before we go, I want to wish some happy birthdays again. Uh, Chris Morgan's having a birthday today. Uh, happy birthday to you, Chris. Adrian Varlag, Sr., the... the uh, uh, the father of all the Varlack kids, Charmaine, <laughs> and Roxanne. <laughs> Rox Roxanne is, in, in, of course, involved with Salvation yes, Army, and is. you're on the board there. Roxanne yeah. is 
In fact, didn't she direct the community choir? She for? sure did. And yeah. now she's working in the so social services department yeah, as well. So. at uh, Salvation Army. And, uh, of course, uh, the Varlak family, the kids are just so talented. If you haven't heard them sing, uh, it's your wow. loss. But happy birthday to Adrian uh, Varlak Sr. I hope you have a great day today. And then yesterday, John West, who owns Extreme Details on uh, 25th Street, I uh, had a birthday, and John, we wish you a very happy birthday as well. Don't forget the Christmas parade coming up on December 3rd, but uh, the big event this weekend is the Monster Ball on, um, on Friday. So get your tickets and go out and have some fun. Sandy, right. thanks again. Thank for you. Coming in. Enjoyed it. It's been a, been a good mon Monday morning. Hope you have a great day. Go out and have some fun and enjoy the sunshine. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day.